नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सेशन 19 इन अवर कोर्स ऑन ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट सो जस्ट टू हैव अ ब्रीफ रिव्यू ऑफ व्हाट वी आर कवरिंग इन द लास्ट मे बी टू और थ्री वीक्स सो वी हैव कवर्ड द फंडामेंटल एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ ऑपरेशंस मैनेजमेंट देन वी हैव कवर्ड द प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट देन वी हैव कवर्ड सेल्स फॉरकास्टिंग और डिमांड फॉरकास्टिंग एंड करंटली अवर फोकस इज ऑन द सिलेक्शन ऑफ अवर लोकेशन वेयर वी वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अवर ऑपरेशन और अवर एंटरप्राइज और अवर फैक्ट्री by now we have the answers to few questions that are very important in operations management that is what a company must produce and the answer comes from product design and development then how much the company must produce the answer comes from design forecast demand forecasting or sales forecasting and then where the company must produce we are trying to find out the answer in our discussion on layout or facilities Uh, planning and layout we have covered that we have to take a decision that in on in the globe in which country we have to set up our location within the country we have to design decide the reason within the reason we have to decide that which particular location and this depends upon a large number of parameters and if you remember we have seen three sessions in plant location only and we have covered different types or factors that are important while deciding that where the facility must be created where the factory must be put up where the enterprise must be situated so we have tried to find out highlight the factors that are responsible or that are important for our consideration in deciding or selecting the plant location and if you remember in the last session we have covered a case study of the state of uttarakhand and i have given a list of facilities or maybe list of facilitation activities that the government of uttarakhand has planned for industry and why industrialists why entrepreneurs are more interested to put up their facilities in the state of uttarakhand or to set up their factories in the state of uttarakhand today we are going to find out that what are the location evaluation methods mathematically also logically also scientifically we can find out that where we must locate our facility so basically there can be two types of decision making one decision making can be based on the different factors different policies the political situation and the other social cultural so many parameters we consider so many factors we take into account when we have to decide on the location of our factory so all these can be clubbed under the qualitative parameters or qualitative methods or the factors which cannot be quantified too much into mathematics or into numbers so we take a decision based on these factors which are qualitative helps us in taking a decision then there can be methods which are quantitative in nature where we have some data we have some information we have some numbers we have a mathematical equation we can have a mathematical table which can help us to take a judicious decision that where we must set up our plant so maybe i have revised in totality what we have covered in operations management i have tried to revise that what we have covered in plant location and in the next week maybe we will focus our attention on plant layout so currently we are deciding where to put up the factory we are trying to find out the answer to this question that where our factory must be located where our organization must be located and to find out that answer we have two types of techniques or maybe methods one can be based on the factors we can make a judicious decision without involving much calculations and the other method as i have just highlighted are the mathematical tools that help us to make this decision in the last two sessions we will be focusing on this location. location evaluation methods only and we will try to find out that how mathematically we can calculate that where our position must be where our factory must be located so let us start the discussion for today about the location evaluation methods so on your screen you can see there are four different methods that are listed one is cost volume analysis factor rating method center of gravity method and transportation models which are usually taught as a course or as a topic in operations research 
so we are trying to look at these methods try to solve a problem or two based on these methods and try to see that how these methods operate what is the data that is required for using this method what is the type of output that we derive out of using these method and how these methods will help us to identify a location where we want to set up our plant so let us go one by one in today's session we will cover the first two methods that is the cost volume analysis method and the factor rating method and in the last session uh, of this week we will cover the center of gravity method and the transportation model for finding out the best location so we have divided our overall discussion of the week into five sessions and just to have a brief review of these five sessions in the very first session we discussed about plant location and layout and facility location and layout whatever you want to call it so it was basic fundamental lecture only in the second lecture we focused on the factors governing our decision regarding the selection of a location in third session we focused on a case study of uttarakhand that why companies are focusing on states where they get certain benefits financial benefits technical benefits as well as there are schemes that help these companies which in their pursuit of excellence so three lectures or three sessions we have already taken related to the location uh, identification and now we will be focusing on quantitative methods of finding out a solution to this problem of location of a factory or a plant or a enterprise as i have already told four methods are there on your screen it is really important to fix or to locate that what we are studying we need to relate that particular topic to the overall picture that we are creating so the overall picture is operations management and within that we are trying to find out where our operations must be done where our factory must be located and in that also we have covered all the factors now we are focusing on the quantitative method so i think i have given a very long introduction today let's quickly go to the cost volume analysis now in cost volume analysis we require the fixed and the variable costs associated with that particular location we have to plot the to total cost all of us know that the total cost is the summation of the fixed cost and the variable cost little bit of economics is involved here then we have to determine that which particular location is offering us the lowest overall cost so overall cost is the total cost so basically what we need to do suppose we have to compare four or five different locations so for each location we will see that what will be the fixed cost of setting up a plant there what will be the variable cost maybe a monthly cost that is associated with a particular location so for example we have four locations a b c and d so for location a what is the variable cost what is the fixed cost similarly for location b and location c and based on that we calculate the total cost for that location and then we try to have as you see in the title it is cost volume analysis so we have to see the volume also that how much volume we are producing because as the volume will change the variable cost will change and as the variable cost will change the total cost will also change so we have to do a cost volume analysis to figure out that which is the most optimal lowest cost location for setting up of our plant we'll try to understand this with the help of an example and i think after the example everything will be absolutely clear to all of you this is much similar to uh, decision making using the break even analysis and i think most of the engineers or most of the managers usually have a basic understanding of the break even analysis there also we plot the total revenue and the total cost and try to figure out that when the break even is going to happen and here also we are plotting the total cost and we are trying to figure out that which alternative is going to give us the lowest total cost so that we can fix up our plant at that particular location so what can be the inputs required here 
for making this decision that out of the four alternative locations where we must fix up our plant. So, the locations can be it can be New Delhi, it can be Mumbai, it can be Chennai, it can be Kolkata. So, we have four different locations. Now, we have to find out that where we have to put up our plant. So, what is the basic information or data required for this type of decision making? The data required is the variable cost associated with that location and the total cost associated with that location plus we require how much volume we are producing at a particular location and then we can calculate the total cost and compare based on the total cost. Now, let us quickly take an example. Before going to the problem, let us try to see what are the assumptions involved in the cost volume analysis. Now, the assumptions involved are the fixed costs are assumed to be constant, the variable costs are assumed to be linear. So, there is a linear variation not the quadratic or a polynomial variation in the variable costs. The output can be closely estimated and only one product is involved. So, the product mix is not involved. So, we are doing this calculation for a single product only. Now, let us take an example, the cost volume analysis example. So, fixed and variable cost for four potential locations are given on your screen. So, you can see the locations we are identifying as A, B, C and D and the fixed costs are given in dollars. So, we have 250000 dollars for location A. So, the fixed cost for location D is 2 lakh dollars. Similarly, the variable cost for location A is dollar 11 and the variable cost for location C is dollar 20. So, this way we have a table, we have the information available. Now, what is missing here? For making a decision, you see the name of the uh, or the title of the slide that is cost volume analysis. So, we have fixed cost, we have variable cost. Now, what is missing? The missing part is the demand or the volume. So, the volume is missing. So, we will do the total cost calculation based on a fixed volume only. So, here you can see the fixed cost is dollar 2,50,000 for location A. Variable cost as was given in the previous table was dollar 11, but we are assuming for comparison purpose the demand as 10,000 or the volume of production as 10,000. So, this is the volume of production or volume 10,000, 10,000, 10,000 and 10,000 and we are calculating the total cost. So, here we can see that location C is giving us the overall minimum cost. So, we can say that if we have to produce 10,000 products, therefore that the location C is most advisable. Why? Because the overall cost or the total cost for location C is minimum. But there is a condition, there is a condition that 10,000 products have to be produced. So, we can see that when the volume will change, the costs will also change because it is being multiplied with the variable cost and if the cost will change, our decisions may change. So, we have uh, plotted the variation of the cost with the variation of the volume. So, we have taken volume on x axis and the total cost on the y axis. So, we are not plotting the fixed and the variable cost, but we are plotting the total cost on the y axis and on x axis we are taking the volume and then we are trying to see that what is the maybe break even volume beyond which uh, our location may change. Maybe up to a particular volume, maybe as in this case 10,000. So, if 10,000 volume location C is giving us the best total cost or the minimum total cost, but if we change the volume, the location may also change. Now, let us try to see the effect of location. So, on your screen, you can see the annual output or the volume of production is given in thousands. So, this is 10,000. So, we have seen in 10,000 approximately that pink color line you see. Pink color line is representing C. So, the pink color line representing C at 10,000 is giving us the minimum 
total cost. So, on y axis we have the total cost and on x axis we have the volume. So, cost volume analysis if we do. So, for C we are getting the minimum cost as you can see in the table also and A is also near about the same only it was 3 lakh 50 thousand if I am correct. So, it is 3 lakh 50 thousand and A is 3 lakh 60 thousand. So, we can see A and C are very close if we are producing 10,000 products. So, the annual output is 10,000. So, prior to that if it is less than 10,000 C is superior, but less than maybe 5,000 products we can say B is superior. So, if we do this cost volume analysis and we can forecast from where do we get this number? Because we have to take a decision that where we must locate our facility. And that is now dependent upon the volume or the products that we are going to produce. So, from where we will get this number that how much will be the sales? We have already covered that. We have seen the qualitative methods and the quantitative methods of demand forecasting. So, we can make a forecast, we can calculate that what is going to be the output and based on that output then using that number we can do our calculation, but sometimes the forecast also may not be accurate and therefore, a combination has to be used. We have to see the other factors affecting the plant location also that we have already covered in lecture or session 2 as uh, session 2 of this week I am talking about. And in session 3 of this week, where we have seen why, uh, what are the facilities being offered by the government of Uttarakhand for setting up facil for setting up facilities and setting up factories in the state of Uttarakhand. So, we have to make a com combined decision based on the uh, factors as well as the calculations and then we have to take a final decision that where our facility must be created. I think cost volume analysis is uh, clear to all the learners that we need three input data sets. So, these three input data sets are the first data is the total uh, the fixed cost for a particular location, the variable cost for a particular location and the volume that we are trying to produce in that particular location. So, if we have these three quantities, we can plot the total cost curve as it varies with the volume of production or the annual output and based on that we can take a decision that which location is more suitable for making or for setting up our plant or setting up of our factory. Now, the second method as we can say is the factor rating method. Here we identify the factors that are going to govern our decision and then we assign weights to these factors and then we give uh, maybe numbers to a particular factor and then multiply the weight and the number or the assigned number to the or the assigned rating I must say because factor rating method the terminology is very very clear there will be few factors and the factors will be weighed as per their relative significance and then a rating will be given. For example, maybe suppose you are traveling by train, you have to rate the quality of your travel many times maybe, maybe when I travel on train, I get a call from the uh, call center and they ask me to rate the quality of food served and the quality of timing of the train on a scale of 1 to 5. Similarly, we do the rating sometimes we fill certain scales from 0 to 10 or 0 to 100 or from 0 to 5. So, that is basically the rating that we give and the factors are the factors that we identify based on which we are going to make our decision. So, factor rating method two words I think I have tried to explain what is factor and what is rating. Now, in this method, how we are going to use this method for selecting a location? Let us quickly go through that. So, most widely used location technique, useful for service and industrial locations, this is just a background, rates locations using factors. Now, decision based on quantitative and qualitative inputs. So, both type of inputs can be incorporated. 
intangible is qualitative factors for example education quality labor skills now labor skills we can rate we uh, in the questionnaire that from 0 to 5 how do you rate the labor skills available in a particular location i may do my calculation uh, maybe on my judgment i may feel that yes this is a place where there are so many number of schools so many number of colleges so people would be more or less uh, literate and that uh, their basic education level will be up to this level so based on that i will give a rating okay the skill set may be between 3 and 4 if i am asked to rate between 0 and 5 so there is a qualitative the education quality or labor skills can be a quality uh, can be a qualitative parameter but it can be rated i can give a rating based on my own judgment and then there can be quantitative parameters for example short term and long term cost so cost we can quantify that what is the expected expenditure in 3 months time what is the expected expenditure in 3 years term so that is short term long term costs can be quantified very easily so this method is based on the weighted average so that we will try to understand with the help of an example so primarily there are two words here there are there will be a list of factors which are influence which are going to influence our decision and then we have to provide a rating to these factors and then this rating will be multiplied by the weight assigned to a factor and we will do the summation for each location and figure out that which location is going to give us the best location for setting up of our facilities let us try to understand this because uh, speaking so many things qualitatively may not be understood in that uh, well manner but if we see the data and the mathematics involved it is easy to understand so let us now see how we do this method first of all we have to list the relevant factors now relevant factors can be the nearness to the source or the nearness to the raw material or the nearness to the market so that can be one factor then the cost involved in transportation can be another factor so these are first we have to list the relevant factors based on which we are going to make our decision then assign importance weight to each factor so that can lie between 0 to 1 and then make sum of weights as unity now suppose i am taking three factors and i feel that this is the most significant factor so i can assign a 50 percent weight to that factor so i will assign a value of 0 0.50 to that factor then little less significant factor i can assign a weight of 0 0.3 and then the remaining 0 0.2 to the third factor so 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.2 will come out to be 1.0 that i have to ensure set a scale for scoring each factor that is the rating that we have to give the scale can be from 1 to 10 or 0 to 10 or it can be from 0 to 100 or 1 to 100 maybe 1 to 50 that we have to decide set a scale score each location using the factor scale now for each location we have to give some values based on that for example nearness to market so we, if we are setting up of a, if there is a location which is very near to the market so we can give that nearness to market this particular factor location d is the most suitable so on a rating scale from 0 to 10 i will give a value of 9 to this particular location then there can be another uh, location on the contrary is too far from the market so instead of giving a value of 9 i may give a value of 2 to that uh, or a rating of 2 to that particular location so we have to give ratings to each and every location multiply scores by weights for each factor and add so we have given we know the weights as i have already told suppose there are three factors each factor we have to assign the weight then for each location we have to give the values on this scale of 0 to 10 or 0 to 100 and finally we have to multiply the weight and the rating and then add this for a particular location now select the location with maximum total score so let us try to see this with the help of an example you can see the factor rating method three locations there are a b and c there are three location the factors have been identified as the cost proximity to the source 
taxes and labor maximum weightage is given to labor that is 0.4 or 40 percent then minimum weightage is given to the taxes that is 0.1 so first we have to do assign weights to each factor but prior to that we have to list the factors that we are going to consider so we have considered four factors here and then we have assigned weights to these factors based on our judgment based on brainstorming based on the company policy based on the state policy their weights are assigned now score each location on each factor we have to set up a scale now scale can be from 0 to 10 it can be from 1 to 100 so based on that scale values will be given for example for location a what is the score for cost for location b what is the score for taxi so that that particular values we have to fill and then multiply the weight and the score and sum for each location so let us now see now here the rating is given on a scale of 1 to 10 so we can see the weight assigned is 0 0.3 0 0.2 0 0.1 and 0 0.4 and the factors have been rated as 10 9 and 7 on the basis of cost so from the cost point of view location a is giving a score of 10 so which means that it can be a cost effective when we are selecting the maximum value the maximum value is coming out to be 7.5 so which means when we are maximizing the thing so from cost point of view we can say it is cost effective from proximity to source it is close to the source and then from taxes point of view also we are saying that less taxes low cost production so maximum profit similarly the labor also so we can see this is just an example from labor point of view labor cost can be a different factor and labor skills can be a different factor this is just to explain that how do we do the calculation so we list down the factors we assign weights to the factors then we see how many locations we want to compare location a b c here we are comparing three only then we set a scale based on that scale we give the values like here for taxis the maximum score is given to location c and for proximity to score maximum location uh, maximum score is again given to location c but from cost point of view maximum score is given to location a then we multiply this like how the value 7.5 is arrived 10 into 0 0.3 plus 7 into 0 0.2 plus 7 into 0 0.1 plus 6 into 0 0.4 so we get this value of 7.5 so if we compare these three the maximum value is for a so the scale that we have set is 10 is the best and 1 is the worst so from 10 is the best score we have done this calculation and based on that location a is the best location and b or c are similar only so once we have to take a decision based on the factor rating method we will say that location a scores may be better as compared to b and c but it does not mean that we will select location a only based on this mathematics we will definitely look at the other factors that we have already considered in our previous sessions and then finally take a call that which location is going to be selected for setting up of the plant location so with this we come to the conclusion of today's session in next session we will try to figure out another method for finding out the best location for setting up of the plant facility thank you